We shouldn't have come here. You evil little cockroach. No, father. Wait. It's over, my son. You've gone too far this time. Oh, father. By the way, I have a little surprise for you. Ah, now what have you done? Let me introduce you to my new servants. You know, I have studied our talents closely, and as you see, they Do you are... really think that mutilating your servants so that they can't hear is going to save you? Well, I admit that was the idea. You are pathetic. On your knees. Ah, I can feel you entering. Your ego has always been your weakness, my son. You are your worst enemy. When will you understand that no lock is impenetrable? I... No! If you're the only one who can master them, all I need to do is master you. Stop! No! You gambled. You lost. Look, Louis. Look at him. You broke the most important of our family rules, William. The one that gives meaning to all the others. Thou shalt not kill. Never. Ever kill a member of our family. What's going to happen to him? He will be buried alive. But don't worry about that. It is over. Everything that belonged to him is yours now. And I am proud to welcome you among us. Thank you. You deserve to join us, Louis. You have great potential and many things to learn. Come. Come to me. I'm coming. As Mortimer had planned, Napoleon Bonaparte sold Louisiana to the United States after purchasing it from Spain. Bonaparte continued his political and military espera. He went on to invade a large part of Central Europe. The legend of Napoleon persisted after his death, conferring on the emperor the role of Messiah for France. Remaining very popular, George Washington put an end to the various internal rebellions without violence and re-established trade agreements with Great Britain. Upon his death, he became a national hero and left an entire nation in a state of mourning. On his return to Spain, Manuel Godoy proceeded to give Louisiana up to France. Later on, he became the target of the Crown Prince of Spain, Ferdinand VII. The latter gave no respite to his mother's lover, going as far as condemning him to exile. He confiscated all of Manuel's titles and possessions, as well as those of his mistress, Pepita. Pursued, they ended up living out their last years in France in poverty and anonymity. The influence von Volner had over King Frederick William ironically ended up working against him. The sovereign thrust him into increasing repression until the end of his reign. Von Vollmer became the object of the people's hatred, was therefore stripped of his titles and land by the new king, and died in poverty to general indifference in the Prussian countryside. The Duchess, through her close ties with the crown, made it possible for Great Britain to build closer links with the United States on both the diplomatic and commercial fronts. She became inseparable from Marchioness Cunningham, reputed for being the most influential mistress of King George IV of England and whom she inducted into the Golden Order. His eminence was obliged to justify himself on his return from the British Isles over the letter he had sent to His Holiness. Unable to say more about the superior dark forces that he had spoken of, his mental health was brought into question. He was consequently withdrawn from papal state power 
and became preferable to speak politely about a faraway retreat when referring to his anonymous confinement in an asylum of Rome. Sara de Richet stepped down from the Golden Order and undertook numerous excursions to Eurasia in search of her son. She reportedly lived out her last moments in a yurt on the way back from the Verkhoyansk mountain range. She died ranting and raving about needing a new body. On his return from Paris, Peru resigned from his posting as judge at the revolutionary courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. No more was ever heard of Lord William Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was the subject of conversations in the European courts, but only for a few months. <laughs>